Welcome back to Good Morning Arkansas. The uh, Arkansas Electric Cooperatives have a great home energy makeover coming up. Brett Curry is here to talk about that. Great Plus, here, yeah, great to have you here today. Plus, uh, energy saving tips. And I think all of us could use that. We head into the summer months and our electric bill, yeah, it starts to shoot up. You bet. It does just like the heat, Barry. It continues to climb. And yeah. we don't like that. <laughs> and that's the, that's, the, uh, that's the thing that people use Mo the most energy for it. It's got to be in the summertime, right? It is. It's keeping your house cool, and we all want to be comfortable on these hot summer days. Yeah, absolutely. We have a, a, a diagram here to show mm -hmm. just how we use uh, our energy in our home, or how people typically do. But talk about the uh, the efficiency of uh, of your electronics and and your appliances in the house, and, well, and what we can do to help. Well, I tell you, if you look where your dollars are spent, uh, number one is heating and cooling. Yeah. And number two is water heat. And number three and four are appliances and lighting. And that's really where most of your money goes. All the rest of it is to all the other ancillary things. Mm -hmm. So what we like to do is we like to focus on those areas that cost the most. Those number, places you can make a difference. Absolutely. Yeah. And like you mentioned just a few minutes ago, your air conditioner is laboring right now. And that's it's right. probably not blowing out. Uh, cool enough air, so you you probably just need a service call. Exactly, and we're going to have that we're going to have that today because if it's not quite cooling enough, it's just sitting there running and running and running, and that leads to energy inefficiency okay. and a higher electric bill. All right, yeah. let's do some let's talk about some things that we can do right now that maybe aren't that expensive to to really lower our bills. Well, if we want to move on to lighting, one of the best things to do mm -hmm. is just simply change out your incandescent lighting to compact fluorescent. We've learned recently from Energy Star that of all the receptacles in the United States that could take a compact fluorescent, uh -huh. only 10% have been changed. So there's still a lot of work to be done out there. And we know that the incandescent bulb, not the compact, but the incandescent bulb, 90% of that energy is heat and 10% is light. And we uh -huh. don't want that in our houses in Arkansas on a hot summer day. Yeah, and these complex, compact fluorescents are much cooler, I've noticed. You can touch They're those. They're cooler and yeah. they operate at 75% less energy. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's so change, great. So change your bulbs. Change those out. And they even have them now for uh, switches that have dimmers on them, too. Exactly. Ah. They're out there. Great. And, and remember that heat's always trying to get to cold, mm -hmm. all right? And so on a hot summer day, Mother Nature's trying to come in your house. Sure. And in the wintertime, all the energy you spent to heat your home is trying to leave. Sure. So simple things like just getting some foam gaskets to put around your light switches and receptacles. Huh. Uh, any place where air can get in your house that you don't want it. You can put foam sealants or even caulking around doors and windows. You can also weather strip. Just anything to stop that unmanaged airflow. I'll bet you a lot of people's weather stripping is not <laughs> what it was when they first had it on there. Too. Well, that's why the box stores have plenty of that on the shelf, so you can replace that over time. Great, so, yeah. great. Hey, uh, as far as uh, there's cooling, you re mm -hmm. replace filters regularly? Uh, once a month. Just always remember uh, those things are very inexpensive and it makes your air conditioning and heating system work properly. So change those out frequently. All right, and ceiling fans too, it'll make you feel a lot cooler. Absolutely, you get that evaporative cooling on your skin. What yeah, about our appliances, good. our electronics? Uh, uh, talk about those a little bit. What can we do there? Well, fortunately now we have products called Energy Star mm -hmm. and they have the little Energy Star logo. Oh, sure. You can go to energystar.org and there's a complete list of all the appliances that you can get that actually utilize electricity better. And uh, they will actually lower the operating cost of what your old model used to use. Wow, yeah, yeah. you get over, the, over time, I mean, you're gonna be replacing, but over time, you really do save money. Absolutely, it all adds up. And turning off uh, computers when they're not in use, uh, just some common Huge, sense things yeah. there. Put it on a strip cord, and when you're done, just simply turn it off. How about quickly the water heater here? It's a big energy eater. Uh, <laughs> very, very. Number two in your energy dollars on the pie chart yep. goes to water or heating water. And you can see this is a, a, a water heater that has a lot of insulation around it. Really and what does. happens is, is once you spend the money to heat the water, it doesn't cool off. And that's what happens with lower efficiency and lower cost water heaters. So you're heating the water once, it cools off, you're reheating it again when you're not even using it, but not with an energy efficient water heater. That's, that's a great one to upgrade to if yours has gone out or maybe even proactively do it, but you can put a jacket around your existing one too, right? Insulating blanket? Absolutely, insulating blanket will work. All right. So, yeah. Hey, you guys at Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas have a great energy efficiency makeover. Now you did this last year, and I know a couple down in Donaldson won the contest. Yeah, we're hoping that Sue and Carol are watching today, the Luton <laughs> family. 
Uh, it was, I'm telling you, just an incredible project that we have, Barry, and we're so excited about it. And we want the listeners today that are electric cooperative members, that are all electric consumers, uh -huh. to go to smartenergytips.org okay. and print out this application. They, all they have to do is tell us some simple information about their home, the energy components, and take a picture of it, make a copy of your electric bill, and send that in to us. Because you could win. You never know. Absolutely. And then the makeover comes in when they, when they come into your house. It's like extreme energy home makeover. Up to $50,000 is what we're going to invest into this house. The Luton's got a brand new geothermal heating and cooling oh, wow. system. Wow, yeah. Uh, insulation. They got brand new windows, all new Energy Star appliances. We caulked and sealed the home. And we were just down there last week, and they are so happy. The, the house is so comfortable and is performing so efficiently with lower electric bills. Isn't that great? Something mm -hmm. we can all do. Thanks for the tips. You bet. And again, where great can, to be here. Where can folks go to sign up? SmartEnergyTips.org. Very good. Brett Curry, okay. thanks so much for being with us today. Good to be with you today. All right. When we come back on Good Morning Arkansas, we'll uh, step in with Chris Norwood of Tiftonhurst and have a great floral design project for you. Next.